Hi, Gem Gems. I hope you guys are doing well today. So let's type in Gemini. Let's see what's going on with my beautiful and my handsome Gem Gems. Okay. Um, thank you guys for your love, your support, your donations, and your super thanks, Gem Gems. I am sending all that love back to you guys tenfold, okay? So let's see what's going on with you all here, okay? Um, let's see, Gem Gems. Okay. Okay, that's nice. So, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods, and goddesses, please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm gem gems and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Block any interferences that could be stopping the messages from coming through. Clear, concise, and precise messages for my gem gems and protect me as I channel the messages for gem gems. What's going on, Jim Jim? You guys could be seeing four, four, four. You got, you guys could actually be seeing a lot of synchronicities right now. I was getting somebody here. I just seen somebody lighting a candle or something. Okay, so maybe you could be doing some protection rituals, or you could just be lighting candles, and they look white. They're pure white, so definitely good for protection and cleansing. Yeah, because somebody here is angry about a commitment that you're in. Okay, or you're going to be in or whatever. Whatever you're committing to, they're angry about it. They don't like the fact that you're focused on it. But let's see, what's this for them, them, them? So we have burnout here, having too many irons in the fire, not taking care of yourself, lack of control, all work, no life. Look closely, careful, pay attention, and relocation. Some of you guys need to declutter and move things around in your home. They say a change in the home, moving to a new location, plans to relocate, relocating for work. Okay, so you could be doing something different for work here, uh, Gemini. Maybe you do something out of your home for work. Or maybe you're getting a new place in a different city, state, country for whatever job this may be. Somebody here could be trying to spy or look into something that's going on with your housing or whatever you're doing inside your own damn house. Yeah, like, I don't know, that's weird. You could be tired, a Gemini, or somebody here is burnt out with trying to do whatever it is that they're doing. But let's just see, though. If you are tired, maybe... Pay attention to your body and listen to it. Hmm. Somebody here could be projecting onto you to make you feel tired. So definitely cleanse your energy. Maybe that's why I've seen them white candles in my vision. Yeah, so, yeah, so we have the Page of Pentacles here. So, yeah, whatever you're planning here has a needs a practical plan. I feel like you're having, this could be like some sort of good news that you have coming in about your finances, a pay raise, a promotion, or maybe it's time for you to study something, to start working towards something, jump in at an opportunity, okay? Possibly with the Page of Pentacles here. Let's see. Some of you guys could be a reader or you could be into some sort of esoteric and occult knowledge with the Page of Pentacles. That's not for everybody. But what's burn out here? Okay, the Emperor. Aries energy. So you could be trying to start a business here, uh, Gemini, or you're really tired. So there's an Emperor coming to help you? This could be this this could be something that's changing within your home life. So you're gonna have more help, is what I just heard from this emperor, possibly. That could be what this is. So yeah, you can work on your creative projects or whatever you're gonna do, is what I'm getting. I'm channeling hard. <laughs> or let's see. What's burnout with the emperor? This could be a divine masculine. Yeah. Oh, okay, the tempest in reverse. Yeah, Sagittarius. So doing things in haste or being overly like self and being self indulgent with the temperance in reverse or needing help to do things you need to do things in moderation there's some sort of imbalance here 
or there's chaos and disharmony somewhere. What's the other word I'm looking for? Maybe this is you as an emperor. Maybe you are being too assertive. You're not... What's this other word that I'm looking for for this temperance? Somebody here could be trying to antagonize y'all. What's the emperor name? This could be overindulgence in something or doing something in excess. What is it? Okay, the seven of wands reverse. What's the emperor with the seven of wands reverse? Leo Mars. Okay, and the eight of cups. So surrendering something and walking away. Because you see the bigger picture in the situation. Maybe this emperor is. So this emperor is walking away from something because they see the bigger picture or this is you. And Ten of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. What's the Seven of Wands reverse? The Hierophant reverse. Taurus. So negative patterns here on repeat with the Hierophant in the reverse, possibly. Or this could be like you living a different or alternative lifestyle. You're not conforming to what societal's norms are. You're doing your own thing. This could be something that you're doing that's causing a lot of controversy. There could be a there could be a false high priest or a false person that's losing respect too. With the seven of wands in reverse. Somebody here is not protected. What's the seven of wands reverse with the hierophant in reverse? This could be a group. Yeah, look, the Ten of Swords. Something is coming to an abrupt end. So maybe this is a divorce. Doesn't have to be, but... Gemini energy. So there could be some gossip or some slander here, but something is coming to an abrupt end. There was a betrayal here. I feel like that it was done to you by some sort of false priest. I don't know if this is like somebody that you went to church with or this is actually in the church. Or this is somebody that just has a distorted belief system and they believe in some other things. I don't know. Something the higher from the reverse super talk about maybe a lack of faith. Okay, too. Hmm. Somebody has lost their protection with something. What's the eight of cups? <laughs> Yeah, the Empress. Yeah, because you walked away from something. So somebody, this person, whatever this is in this group, somebody was trying to do something to you to betray you or curse you or something like that. And I feel like wherever you're going on your journey, Gemini, you have broken it or something like that by walking away from certain things. Wow, yeah, the Empress to the Emperor. So there's something, there's something that came to an abrupt end because somebody just... I don't know what they were doing. Mm. Mm. So maybe somebody in your energy is getting a divorce because they see something that they didn't see at first because of you, possibly. That could be what this is. What's the temperance reverse? The nine of swords reverse. What's temperance reverse, nine of swords reverse? Five of pentacles reverse. So yeah, I feel like that you're recovering from something. This is you coming out of the cold or you recovering from some sort of financial loss or homelessness or just hardships, whatever challenges this was. This could be you recovering from some sort of ailment. If that was the case, this could be something mental. I feel like you see that there's a light at the end of the tunnel, so you're not fearing anything. Uh, yeah, you're like, fine. <laughs> you're fine, and you're recovering. So something else somewhere is in balance. Something is out of whack. Or somebody just now they're trying to antagonize you because something ended in their raggedy ass life. So now they're trying to just get on your nerves. 
There's a whole group. I feel like that hyphen in reverse is a whole group of hoes that are gossiping about you or trying to betray you. What's this damn ten of swords? Yeah, the sun in reverse, a distorted. I was going to say distorted masculine. Leo energy. So somebody here is disappointed because something didn't work out. I feel like this is a man. Whoever's in this hyphen energy with this sun right here, this is like a man here gossiping. But well, it could be a woman. Flip the damn rose because I did see the queen of swords in reverse with her stupid ass. But maybe this is you needing to learn how to surrender and let things go. Somebody here don't stand up for shit that they believe in. With the seven of wands in reverse, somebody don't have no damn backbone. So someone here is miserable with the sun reverse. They're miserable as fuck. And there is going to be no victory here. Somebody's oppressed. What's ten of swords with the sun reverse? They try to oppress you. Now they're oppressing themselves, basically. Yeah, the Ace of Swords in reverse. Somebody here made the wrong decision or something here is not going to receive a breakthrough. Somebody's not going to receive a breakthrough here. Somebody is scatterbrained. They're not enlightened. They don't have the right answers to shit. <laughs> Whatever this is. Somebody's like low on energy too. They can't even think straight. Really scatterbrained. And somebody failed at something. Look closely. Careful. Pay attention. The Ace of Cups. Let's look closely with careful. Pay attention with the Ace of Cups. The Four of Wands. So this is nice. A lot of celebrating. A lot of celebrating here. Some of you guys have leveled up. You've graduated. So congrats. Whether it be spiritually, mentally, physically, whatever you've done the good work so you're celebrating this could be a new exciting fulfilling relationship a new beginning and love some of you guys are getting married or this is the welcoming of a baby okay or you're celebrating this this twin flame union with this damn temperate with the damn uh empress and the damn emperor yeah aries venus here so something is celebratory or this is your gifts heightening your gifts are heightening here. You're you're reaching a high level of consciousness here. You've been initiated again, so congrats. Like you're just doing big shit. Definitely congrats on a new home. There's a blessing here. What's the ace of cups? The hermit reverse. Virgo. What's the ace of cups? Hermit reverse. And the five of wands. Yeah. So somebody here wants to compete. This king of cups in reverse. This hermit. Somebody's competing or they want to fight about something. I feel like you're not. You don't give a fuck about what they're mad about. You guys have been seeing 555. Or this is them fighting amongst other people. So somebody, I feel like with the hermit reverse, somebody here is not doing no shadow work. They just want to fight and argue. But I feel like they're fighting themselves because I don't see that you're fighting anybody. <laughs> like... For what? So that way they can throw you off your square and make you be in this low vibrational energy when you're really high vibing, you're deserving to celebrate and they want you to be mad. Absolutely the fuck not. <laughs> you're not. The helmet in reverse too could be paranoia or somebody feeling really restrictive or closed off or scared. I don't know. Maybe this is what they want to cause you, but I feel like this they bitch ass or this how they going to be. What's the helmet reverse? Somebody here wants to fight with you because they ain't got no damn wisdom or knowledge about anything with this Virgo energy in reverse. It said, look closely, careful, pay attention. You know, Virgos are very detailed. They're ve very detail oriented and they're hard workers too. So I don't know, this, this hermit in reverse is giving somebody here that's just lame. Somebody could be a Virgo Libra cusper. Somebody here could be, this could be somebody here that's scared about something going on within the legal system. But the justice here is something balancing out for you. This is karmic justice. Something working out in your favor. Yeah, the three of wands. Or this is you balancing out some karma. And you did. So what's time to reverse with the justice? Yeah, the will of fortune. Exactly. This is your fate, your destiny. Wherever you're going, is 
this is good energy. Like you have good karma coming in because you've taken accountability for everything that you've done or went through or whatever. And somebody feels like, oh, well, that's not true or that's not right. Or let me just bring more shit up so that way you can fall back again or whatever. It's like, bitch, no. Somebody is so persistent and getting on y'all nerves. It's crazy. Yeah, like this is good karma. The universe is definitely on your side. What's the five of wands? Somebody like being petty. Yeah, three of three of swords in reverse, Libra Saturn. Yeah, because they're holding on to so much pain and heartbreak and, and mess and trauma that somebody needs to heal or somebody here wants to reconcile with you so they feel like they have to fight or compete. I feel like there is no point of fighting or competing because you don't want to reconcile with them. And so you don't have to fight, honey bun. Don't don't worry about it. Please don't worry about it. What's five of wands the three souls reverse? Yeah, the judgment in the reverse and the damn page of swords. Exactly. Somebody here keep on repeating karmic lessons. They're unforgiving. They're holding on to grudges and shit. And they want to fight. They want to argue. Or this is them somewhere fighting amongst other people. Yeah, this is another card too of arguing. Somebody's like miserable. Their vibration is so low because all they do is argue. With whoever the fuck they with, because on God, I don't feel like they're arguing with you. And if they are, I feel like you ain't giving them shit. You shouldn't give them anything. I wouldn't. Bitch, argue with a brick wall. <laughs> You're going to be ignored. Because don't come over here with that shit. So, yeah, this is like a little petty gossip, too. Judgment reverse with the page of swords. Judgment reverse is malicious gossip. But the page of swords are probably like little dumbass gossip or somebody here saying shit. Just stupid. But this person like is watching you and they're judging you. They're critiquing everything that you do, I guess. There's some like false accusations here. So maybe this could be you speaking up against some sort of injustice. And this person is like mad. Maybe this person is mad because you're saying something that they did. Yeah, now they didn't regret. I feel like, bitch, it's the truth. Whatever you're saying is the truth. What's this page of swords? <laughs> Yeah, the, the Queen of Cups, exactly. So, yeah, you could be a psychic here, an empath. Um, very, very much so creative here. You could be a mother figure. But you're just very kind. But you're going to speak the truth. But somebody's, like, watching you. They really are. Hmm. Yeah, this person is. <laughs> They're so fucking miserable. This person is like really miserable. They're watching you express yourself with the Queen of Cups. That's like creative expression. Or they're trying to get information on what you're creating. What's the page of swords with the Queen of Cups? Or they're trying to like make you. They're trying to see if you're emotionally fucked up or if you're. Because for some of you, somebody, 12, 22 on the clock, somebody could be saying something to you, but it's like you're not paying attention to you have your back turned. And somebody's watching you behind your back. Somebody's talking about you behind your back. And I guess they're hoping that the word spreads or they're hoping that whatever people are saying about you would, you would feel. Because I know when people like, when people was like talking about, I know they still talk about me because they, I'm like everything to them <laughs> like i'm the start of their fucking raggedy ass day but i'm just saying though like when people used to talk about me when i was like ascending and going through my ascension phases and things like that well I'm, i still am but i'm saying like i literally don't feel no negativity i can care less about what somebody got going on about me bitch whatever you're saying about me is none of my business you're not going to say it to my face and it better make sense about why you're beefing then i don't give a fuck but i know when people used to say shit about me it used to like i can feel the the tension intuitively and i feel like somebody is like watching you to see if you're emotionally upset or if you're going to lash out or if you're going to be emotionally if you're going to act out in an emotionally immature way and i feel like you're not you don't give a fuck what i don't know what somebody's trying to do they're trying to make your emotions all fucked up and shit or they're trying to stop you from creating something or they're trying to figure out what you're creating they're trying to get some like information i don't know but y'all who cares what's the four of wands Somebody is crest. Yeah, the King of Cups. 
This is you and your twin? You and your person. <clears throat> what's this what's this four of wands with the king of cups? I feel like you and somebody love each other a lot. Yeah, page of pentacles. Okay, there's a child here. So there could be you and this person could be getting ready to have a child together and create and create a family with the four of wands. But this could be maybe this king of cups has plans on starting something with you this could be like a business or maybe somebody here wants to build with you they're building with you <clears throat> let me see what's king of cups with the page of pentacles because it say look closely okay yeah look ten of cups that's that's what it is <laughs> okay period i just want to make sure yeah, so this is a divine connection here. There's something here that's really true love. And somebody's like watching to see if that's what you're in. Bitch, yes, they are. They are loved and, and they're loving on somebody. I don't really understand what the fuck they're going to do about it. I'm confused. How the fuck you going to try to come up in somebody's shit with this black ass, whatever this is, magic, or you trying to, what are you trying, what do you think you're going to do with somebody else's shit before your ass end up in jail? Like, what do you think you're actually going to be able to do, bitch? I'm confused. What are you watching somebody for? Because you're mad? You're holding a grudge? Like, there will be no damn second chances because you're a damn betrayer. You do too much. And I feel like they don't even like you anyway. Somebody's envious, they're jealous, and they just watch you because they're obsessive. And they got to talk about you to make themselves feel better. They're a loser. While you're over here having fun with your family or starting one. <laughs> like, what's relocation? Dumb asshole. With six of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> what's relocation with Six of Wands reverse? Knight of Wands. So, yeah, somebody could be traveling shit. Maybe somebody's trying to get away from all these fucking people. With the Six of Wands in reverse, people that have ill intentions. Or this is you taking action here, Gemini. Maybe you could be fearless and confident and brave with whatever you're doing. You're taking a risk here and doing something. But somebody here is like a clout chaser with the six of wands in reverse. So they need their ego fed. They need attention. Their pride and their ego is bruised because they're a fucking loser. They don't have a victory. With the six of wands in the reverse, this could be a group of people. What's the damn six of wands reverse? Flying monkeys. Yeah, a bunch of lying ass bitches. Maybe these, all these people could live in a home together. And somebody's trying to leave or whatever. This could be a roommate kind of situation. Somebody having to move. <clears throat> Aquarius moon. What's the six of wands reverse? Seven of swords. Oh, this flipped over? I, I, look, I don't even know what, what that flipped over for. So I'm not going to take it. What's the six of wands in reverse? Seven of swords. The world. Yeah, somebody is planning to, to relocate, to travel. <clears throat> How? They ain't got no money? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Hopefully they ain't traveling to you. Because <clears throat> somebody's around some drama. Like somebody's in a really hostile environment. And I, I, I hope they ain't coming to you because they're going to be highly disappointed highly but the world is definitely travel here this could be um maybe you're keeping your mood silent and keeping things to yourself keeping certain things to yourself or something here is hidden that it's like you don't want to be detected with whatever you're doing but definitely could be could be keeping your travel plans to yourself or the world also talks about feeling whole and complete within yourself so let's see what's seven swords let me see Okay, Nine of Pentacles, period. Yeah, you're keeping your moves and shit to yourself. Or somebody's trying to steal from you. But I just feel like you're moving undetected. Or somebody, okay, so maybe somebody's trying to figure out where you have moved. Where have you moved? Because Nine of Pentacles is a property. So there could be a mob of bitches trying to figure out where the fuck you at. Bitch, so you can do what? <laughs> I'm not even going to say what the fuck it came to my head so fast. Because I don't want to get flagged or nothing like that. But what are you talking about? What's the, what's the, I'm confused. What's the, um, or 
What's, uh, some of you guys could work online. Okay, what's what's the world? <clears throat> two of Wands, yeah, planning. What's the world with the Two of Wands? Three of Cups, yeah, there's something to celebrate here, just period. Or somebody here is trying, trying to plan to reconcile with you. But I feel like this could be you just celebrating. Some of you guys are celebrating a new home, a new business. Maybe you could be starting a business inside your home. Some of you guys could be celebrating a pregnancy, a baby as well. And you're keeping it quiet as you should. It's it's like for for like for all they know you're single <laughs> like that's what they see bitch and if they don't see it so the fuck what they need to mind their fucking business what the fuck is the Knight of Wands the King of Pentacles what's the Knight of Wands King of Pentacles the Six of Pentacles oh okay so this could be your this could be your actual masculine right here possibly too. I'm getting Yeah, there's something big that you're getting ready to Yeah, something new that you're getting ready to be doing. Okay, maybe this man is traveling for work for some of you. Maybe this is your person, they're traveling. Somebody here could be getting a new job and somebody's getting to that bag with the King of Pentacles. Is this your person? They getting that money. Something about, uh, and so that way they can support you. This your person. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, it don't feel like you're single to me. If, well, I mean, you probably could be. But I feel like somebody is getting ready to start moving around to create something for the both of you. Yeah. So, yeah, there's a whole bunch of hoes over here that's mad or jealous or they're trying to compete where they don't fucking compare. And I just feel like you and your person are doing whatever the fuck y'all doing. Yeah, look at these broke ass hoes. <laughs> King of Swords reverse, Queen of Queen of Swords in reverse, Seven of Swords, Seven of Pentacles reverse, Four of Cups, Five of Swords, and a Page of Wands in the reverse. Just a bunch of idiots that are together. They look dumb as fuck. They're both liars. They both argue amongst each other. They both don't have shit nice to say to each other. They're both very cold, very verbally abusive, and very much so gossiping. About you? I'm pretty sure it's about you. What else is going to be about? They don't have nothing else. <laughs> so what else is going to be about? Yeah, five of souls in reverse. Somebody, these people, they, they're getting ready to be publicly humiliated. Or I don't know. But I feel like somebody needs to go ahead. <laughs> like, seriously. You look dumb. Y'all bitches, y'all always look dumb. <laughs> it just never fails. It never fucking fails. At all, ever. So yeah, I feel like there's help here coming to you, uh, Gemini. Because the good thing is too, that like you're independent, you're self-sufficient. I feel like this talks about your independence more so than anything else because I see matches here. So you're with somebody or you're going to be. Maybe this is future tense for some of you. But for those of you that are with your twin or whatever the fuck this is, I feel like you're very, really self-sufficient. You're abundant alone. So it's not like you're needy, you're clingy, you're anything like that. You've been holding the fort down before your masculine came or your feminine came. You're going to do the same when they go off to work or do whatever they're going to do. But something's going to be celebratory, though. And just keep your moves and your shit to yourself. That's all I'm saying. Be private. But you. I feel like it's okay for you to show that you're happy. Or people going to probably know that you're with somebody. But to be putting your business out there is another thing. I feel like you know that. You're grown as fuck. And why would you if you know that all these people over here are trying to, like, people press. Especially whoever your ex is or whoever this bitch is. They really press. What's, um, what's this for Jim Jones? So, yeah, I feel like there's wealth here. Somebody is wealthy. This person has the power to, to attract money. They're wealthy in spirit. Yeah, somebody gonna be bringing in that bag. Okay, I'm saying this person give you stuff. They're taking care of you or something like that, honey. Period. So this, this person could be younger too, but they are very wealthy. They're like a, they're a great businessman too. They're very successful businessman, businesswoman, whatever the fuck. Yeah, look, because they they got this one pinnacle right here, and they have, and then you have the nine. So they have this. This one pinnacle is what this person is going to get to create a home together with you. Is what I'm getting. Is what I'm getting, literally.
So I'm, I'm getting somebody's going to be in and out, back and forth. It's because they're working. Somebody could be on the road a lot or something like that for work. Maybe they're a truck driver or something like that for some of you. Yeah, so we have nature spirits, elementals, the four elements. Okay, and if they're a truck driver, you best believe, honey, they're going to have some money. I don't know that's right, big daddy. Okay, period. The King of Pentacles. Yeah. One, two, three, four, and o'clock. Exactly. The healing hearts, love, acceptance, and romance. Period. You're in love with somebody? Or it's coming? Yeah, the honoring path. And then we have commitment. This is nice, Gemini. Really nice. Yeah, now somebody said decrease discovery. And present power. So somebody's discovering or they're looking into why the fuck that shit is decreasing. It's because you're in your power. And they trying to like siphon it. Or whatever the fuck this is that they trying to do. I don't know, honey. I don't know, but let's see. So it says the upright, it says respect and high regard. So it says a woman stands on stage before her and audience applauds her shining presence. On a purely practical level, this card indicates that you will soon be receiving positive recognition for something you've done or something you're about to do. On a deeper, more personal level, this card reveals a shift in others' attitudes as well as your own towards you. You are starting to see the best in yourself and as your self-regard in increases others will see the best in you also if someone treats you with disrespect you now have the power to demand civility in fact the energy of self-honor is the only way to get the response from the universe you long for so choose an increasing intention of self-respect in your thoughts and your behaviors such a powerful daily approach projects such a powerful daily approach proje projects incredible dignity and authentic power to irresistible vibrations in the universe so take a bow. When you acknowledge yourself, the world acknowledges you back. So your affirmation is, I choose to prioritize myself. I am a truly valuable person deserving of my own self-care. This King of Pentacles too is really generous. They're, they're, they're investing in you or something too is what I'm getting. I keep looking at them. I like them. <laughs> Whoever this is, they're very helpful. And I feel like they could give back to their community in some way too. They're honoring their path with you. Yeah, you're signing a contract here with this person and committing to something. You and, your, you and this person can ready to go get a bag, honey. Y'all on y'all getting money shit, just period. Just like these bitches in this fake ass relationship try to do. Off off your energy. Mm. Mm. Or they yeah, okay, something about a contract. So it says, yeah, a promise. It says this card shows a man signing papers at a table and it foretells a commitment on the horizon. It may in fact be in the form of a romantic relationship or even a marriage. Yeah, because the King of Pentacles, they don't like, um, I'm hearing that saying you're single until you're married, but I don't really, like me, mm, I get it, but then again, I don't because I just cannot look at myself. If I'm with somebody and I love them, I'm not single. 3333 three, three, three on a timer I just saw. Uh, I get the same though. I get it. It's like technically you're single before you're married. It's either one or the other, but it's like, well, what about the in between? There is an in between. <laughs> you can act like it's not. How do you get to know each other? You don't jump right into a marriage. You get to know each other. You spend time with each other. You probably live together for a minute. Things like that. But I don't know. You know, people got their own way of doing shit. But yeah, I feel like this person is going to. You and this person could be actually getting ready to go on a lot of trips too. A lot of trips. A lot of just. Somebody's going to spoil you here. You're already spoiling yourself. But I feel like somebody here really values you with the Six of Pentacles. So they want to help you. They want to give back. They want to, especially if y'all living together, they want to contribute as much as they can. And they want to get married. They don't like short-term relationships. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, very loyal. Very loyal. And I just see them traveling or moving. Like something is an adventure. I feel like somebody is going on an adventure with the Knight of Wands. I'm not really getting cheating or like player energy with this. I'm getting somebody here that's young and on their shit. This person could be younger than you possibly, but they are mature, very mature. They have an old soul rather is what I'm trying to say. So y'all could end up actually getting married. Mm, very nice. 
So it says um, there could be a serious, there could also be a business commitment. Yeah, a job offer, a partnership, a rental agreement, or the sale of a house. All of these activities bode well for you at this time. This card may also signify a good res resolution to a legal matter, especially one that you've been dealing with for a while. Of course, you still need to do your research and get a clear understanding of your part in this commitment. Investigate what's expected of you and what you can expect of anyone else involved. Being well informed will help the new endeavor go smoothly. Indeed, being prepared and informed helps all areas of life. The universe blesses your commitments as you bring your personal power and highest intention to all that you do. Very nice. So your affirmation is I commit to myself in every way and I draw beneficial commitments to me. And did. You sure did. This is nice. The healing heart, love, acceptance, romance. Yeah. We already know what that's about. There's a beautiful relationship here. And some of y'all getting ready to celebrate something big too. This is the Ace of Cups by the Four of Wands. Maybe you, you could be on stage doing something too. Okay, because somebody does watch you. So you could be on stage. I mean, where they going to watch you at? If they don't know where you live, if they don't know what the fuck you're doing, what, what the, how they're watching you. So you can have a business online or something like that, or your business is flourishing too, shit. So this could be like your gifts heightening, especially if you're a psychic maybe. But, or you're, you could be in the beauty industry. Maybe you do hair, makeup, you style clothes, you make your own clothes or something like that. You model. Because the, the Queen of Cups is pretty, very, very pretty, very beautiful, whatever. But this could be actual a celebration. This could be a housewarming or like a, a graduation. This could be the birth of a, definitely could be a new project, a new baby for sure. With the Ace of Cups and the Four of Wands, that's what I was getting. But you know, it could be different things. It could be everything. Everything that I'm saying, it could be all of that. You're getting ready to be blessed. Children are blessings. This money is a blessing. God, it's a blessing. So it's nice. I, I don't know. Congrats, Gemini. I'm really proud of you guys. You know, don't let nobody bring you down, honey, with their drama. Fuck them and all their raggedy ass spell work and whatever else that they got going on. It's just, don't even worry about it. Keep protecting your humble abode, your family, and keep moving. That's easy. That's easy. So this was your reading Jim James. I hope this reading gave you lots of clarity. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss my reads and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.